This episode of the Game Over Greggy Show is brought to you by ProFlowers.com. My mom's birthday is this week, and you know what she loves? Flowers. Lots of people do. I do. Kevin does. I think Cool Greg does. Why not get the people in your life some flowers? There's Pro Flowers. You go there. Right now, Pro Flowers has a special offer just for our listeners. Get $10 off your purchase of $29 or more. This deal works on best-selling gifts like their 100 Blooms bouquet, a dozen red roses, or even their totally unique plant gifts. To snag this great deal, just go to proflowers.com and enter the code GREGGY at checkout. Tim's ordered Gia Pro Flowers before. You know what she said? I don't know. I wasn't there, but I get they're still together. So when they got, I'm sure she liked it. It was probably something like, Tim, these flowers are wonderful. Please pour me more wine. Pro Flowers are guaranteed for seven days of your money back. They have a whole bunch of things that are quality checks. It's great. So go to Pro Flowers, not Bro Flowers, proflowers.com. Use the offer code Greggy at checkout to get $10 off. All right, final topic is going to be my topic. Do it. Oh, hold on, sorry. Give it to me. Uh, is this, you know, help, help me. Okay, hold that for one second. Uh, this topic comes, hold it up. This topic comes from Patreon, or no, I'm sorry, that's not right. This topic is my topic, but it's with the one with the Patreon producer, Salem, Ghanem El Ghanem, right? Mm-hmm. All right, great. This is a story I've told no one. Not None of you know oh, the topic. God. Okay. Cisco, the phone you're holding, I dropped in a urinal in Las Vegas. Dropped it in a urinal awesome. in Las Vegas while now I was I'm peeing. holding it. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hooray. Why is he holding it? Well, I mean, what else? I needed a prop. It was a prop to put out and let you know what happened. So I'm in Vegas doing the Great. Dice Awards. What? Every once in a while, Greg Miller just has, has moments where I'm just like, <laughs> see, okay, we had a talk about this. Greg. We did have a talk we about this. Seas, it was Boston. We're like, Greg Miller, you're a fucking evil genius. Yeah. But evil genius, genius is still in there. Yeah. But the evil's Thank still you. in there. Sure, too. of course. So you're a crazy person. Yeah. And every once in a while, you just spring things on us that are like, too far. Yeah. Not okay. Yeah. The episode of Game Over Greggy's show with Christine Lakin. Uh, Christine, Lakin. Christine uh, yeah, Christine Lakin, who comes in and you're like, and here's a guest that me and Nick had no idea who she was. It would have been and perfect was, if Colin uh, would have been on top. It, it was a Colin thing. And he had and, a meeting. He had, he had a meeting, so he yeah. wasn't there. And once he came, then it was awesome. But up until then. Yeah. Did you need to know that my phone had been a urinal until right now no, for the topic? You probably I'm glad you should told me because I won't touch my face again. Uh, uh, <laughs> this happened at the Dice Awards. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Weeks it's ago. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Oh my God. And many a time. Buddy, here's the thing that I don't understand about you. I don't know what the hell this topic is, but I'm just going to go into this. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> you of all people. <laughs> yeah. I would have expected if that phone had gone into the urinal that you would have just looked down and been like, time to get a new phone. And that's where I want to jump off with this topic, right, is the right. fact that, yes. But uh, the iPhone 7 is now waterproof. That is a good point. Yeah, they're it water is. resistant or whatever. Uh, you guys travel with me all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that I'm upset. My hands are super chapped and dry right now because, again, Pax East was just the other day. And we, I washed my hands so much. That. I can't. I don't want to get sick at conventions, so I don't touch things. Yeah, and you eat, eat, you know, right, once, once you go out at a convention, you want to stay healthy 83? Next packs, kind of funny live. Your hands are biohazards. As soon as you leave your hotel room, don't consume anything. I wrap my food in napkins if I have to, you do. but I go wash my hands. Then, you, then, I, then it's always the awkward one. I know I'm about to eat. I've washed my hands, and then someone tries to stop me, and I got to either do like, I'm like, well, let's, I'm like, no, I got to no, eat, no. and you know how I am. Like, I'm not like OCD about it, but I know it'll get in my head and I'll get sick. My, see, that's the one of my favorite things. Pound. Yeah, the elbow is the new pound. Yeah. I'm down with that. But the thing with you is you, you don't. You're so used to people listening to everything that you say, yeah. Uh, because over our shows, do you expect that, like, if you say a story that, like, you don't want to over- repeat it because you, we just assume that everyone listens sure. to everything, which is probably not the right way to go about it. Right. Life. But you do that sometimes with the people. It's like, oh, you know, I, I don't like do whatever. It's like they don't know that. They That's right. thing. But my, I notice it the most when we're whenever we're doing signings with the Vita, and you're just like, you know, just use the um, what clear nail it? polish. Use, you, if you, you want, if is, you sign a, a Vita, use clear nail polish on the back. Which oh. make if when you explain it, if you sign a Vita. Put clear nail polish and it won't go away. That statement makes sense. When someone, when you decide something, you look at them and go, clear nail polish, you know. (laughs) Well, now they do. I'm like, that's something. And now they do. And it's the problem of having that same conversation a hundred times in an hour or whatever when I'm signing. Shout out to the uh, first switch that we signed. Shout out to the first. I've signed three switches now in the world. That are out see, there. Okay, now we got to get the rules straight. Yep. Because it's like Beyond, where we used to scream Beyond only when Beyond was said in context. Mm. So if no, we're talking about a switch, that's not it. Mm. It's like when, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But if I'm saying I switch sheets, then we would snap. Then you it. switch. Yeah. If you're talking about yeah, yeah, the yeah. Nintendo Switch, the then you don't do snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody, so we're now on the same page. When people say, like, I went above and beyond, then you say Beyond, but it's like, oh, I was watching Beyond, then you yeah, don't. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching Beyond once in a while. 
<laughs> no, no, Nick, no. <laughs> like, yeah, we signed a whole bunch of switches, which was great. Man, now hey, you know we're not. We're, we're, um, um, did we we finished our topic on E3. Mm-hmm. But again, I, you can come back because I gave yeah, we can do whatever we want. I gave y'all that shirt that said we got game. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was very similar to the <laughs> to um you guys logo for it was better actually. You for the PS, I love you. Oh, okay, I was, uh, like, I was like, oh, I'm a, I must might have you know sparked a little creative juice. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's possible. Uh-huh. So to the point, mm-hmm. yeah, I am very obsessive about the clean cleanliness mm-hmm. and all that jazz. And I think on a normal day, things would have gone differently. But I've done the Dice Awards. I've been drinking all night now. I am drunk. Yeah, I am at in a Vegas casino at like two thirty in the morning. Jen and I have ordered wings over at the the place we're at or whatever, and I'd gone to the bathroom. And I always, I usually, I get that like chill. You know what I mean? Where it's like you pull the phone out over the toilet at home, no, and I'm like, this is it. this is always a bad idea. Why do I do this? You know what I mean? But it's never gone bad. Mm-hmm. So at a urinal, there's always been a discussion. Is it okay to be on your phone at a urinal? How do you feel about that? Where do you come down on that? Where do you come down on that? I've just accepted the fact that my phone and me are disgusting. Okay. So I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Cisco, would you use a phone at the urinal? Uh, absolutely. All right, cool. And Nick? Yeah, sure. Why not? Of course. I have. And so, but you need a case, man. No. Look how thin my case is. Yeah, that's nice. But does it even protect them? It does. See, but look how good my... I, I'm telling you, everything needs to be unprotected right. now. That's what Greg I've been goes first. caseless. For some reason, it didn't protect so the front. What, you, what just <laughs> happened to you... Like, I don't care about cases. Yeah. I've never been a case guy. I like it sleek. Yeah. The problem is, when you go with a phone this big, and this is the only problem with mm-hmm. going with a phone this big, you don't get a nice grip on it. Yeah. Especially with the iPhone design, it's the mat and stuff aren't... Yeah. Aren't, like, yeah, nice. So moved away from surface and it's surface, surface, and it's terrible. It's terrible. It's too. It's too slick. Yeah, exactly. And that's why the leather. I'm like, that's the only reason I have this case mm. is to, to get the grip, or See, else I'm worried about the urinal. And that was the thing is, yeah, I pulled it out, and I was a little. I was a lot drunk, and I pulled <laughs> it out, and I had those no. suit pants on, so there wasn't the normal oh, resistance no. of getting out of the yeah, pocket. Yeah. So it was just whoop, and then it was just whoop, and then it was in there, and it was literally like it. In somebody had, else's urinal? It, no, in my urinal. Oh, okay. But I'm peeing in it, and I don't. You know, you <laughs> have, these are <laughs> these are. <laughs> 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 like, excuse me. <laughs> I gotta get that out of it. It's waterproof. It's okay. But it, no, it does that thing where it hits and it goes in the urinal, and I immediately reach and grab it right out. And there was that moment of like, man, I'm proud of myself for doing that because it was instinct. It wasn't. There wasn't a, a thought of like, yeah. what do I do here? And then I finish my business and go over there, soap and water my hands, soap and water the phone. I'm like, we're already wet. We're already wet. We're already like, here. we're already in here. What's gonna happen? You know what I mean? So yeah. I do it. I do it. I do it. I do it. Hands and it still works. Then. Back into my pocket, right. then wash the shit out of my hands. Then the phone's now a biohazard. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't have, I'm drunk and I don't have time to worry about this. So I eat my wings over there with my clean hands. Don't do anything. It's not till the end of the meal where I'm done, done that I take it out and do anything on it. Is it still working? Is it not? Blah, blah, blah. But then it is the next thing of waking up sober and being like, Ugh, fuck. Yeah, what did I do? This is so gross. What but have it, I done? And it's like, and I'm like, well, urine's sterile. Like, that's the common yeah. mm-hmm. held belief. I Google that. That's not true. Urine not sterile at all. I'm like, fuck. God Fuck. damn you, survivor. And so then it was like, I go downstairs and I'm like, do you have the alcohol wipes in this, in this casino? And they're like, no, we don't. But they had hand sanitizer. And I, you look that up online, not supposed to do that either. But again, at this point, <laughs> I don't care. I, what do you want me to do? Because I was going to get the hydrogen peroxide and, cl- mo- and the mothballs, cloth, you know, the cotton balls, cotton balls and yeah. do that. Set out with the hand sanitizer, rub that in. And then it was like a week of... I still don't trust you. I still don't feel right with you. Really? I don't trust you. Well, it's just in your head. It's in my That's head hilarious. that that happened. And then yeah, finally, it got back I don't to. Think dr- I, I don't think germs can last that long. No, they can't. No, no. I mean, I know that. Yeah, but it was like this was a mental hurdle for me yeah. to come over for a long time, wow. especially the first time it was like oh, I gotta uh, put it to my. Nah, man, because I, 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 dude, I know the feeling like when you know when we're doing shows and stuff, and you know sometimes you got like the, that really hot girl that wants to be right up on you, mm-hmm. and you know. I don't know if it's because it's hot or maybe excitement, but you know, people perspire. Everyone's perspiring. A lot of different, you know, uh, just fluids are just. You don't know what they are. You don't know what's going on. Sure, the stranger is grinding on you. You know, when you don't, when you, you know, when you do those those panels and stuff. That's not the same kind of thing as your life. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying because because when we do when we do like meet and greets. Yeah, sure. It's like a real long line of meet and greets. Yeah. And that girl that's been standing there meet and greet that might that that may be you know a plus size woman, who you know has like a, you know a a a, a, a skirt or a dress that like stops right here. Oh, like a tank uh, uh, tube top. And this is, is just yeah. nice and moist oh, for yeah. you there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. 
And this is going right on you. Well, see, that's yeah. that's yeah. what I hate it's about right, doing right to other people. Yeah, that happens. And, and 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 the fun part is, it's summertime, and you have on a tank top. Yeah. So yeah, things are getting nasty. So, oh, yeah. so, so we getting personal. We getting personal up in yeah. here. See, and that, but I feel here, like when, when that, I've been so kissed on the cheek, and like a couple minutes later, got like uh, acne. From like you know somebody else's grease Oils, entering yeah, my yeah, biosphere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. It happens. No, See, I feel, I feel like I give as good as I get with the fans. Oh, you definitely. Mm. Where they come over and they want, I'm like, all right, I'm sweaty. It's gross. In. What's yeah, up? Yeah, well, I, like, I know. I, I was in that pink cutoff shirt. By the time I get back, I'm gross. I got everybody. It is what it is. Yeah. Like yeah. I just came from an orgy. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Like one of the only orgies I didn't actually come in. Um, <laughs> I've never good. been to that an orgy. Was a good, that was a good turn I've of phrase. I've never been to an orgy. It was, it was. I'm, you weird, do it? I'm weird with this shit, though, Greg. Would I? Would you do an orgy? No. No? It's too much. No. Okay. I feel like, too much to I feel pay like attention like to. Orgy and, like, like when I was young, starting out, there was gigs that I could do, like, that, with, a, like, shooting. That was I orgies? never did porn. And one of the reasons oh. I never did porn, like, shot porn, was because I didn't want it ruined for me. And the idea oh. of the orgy is so amazing to me. Oh, but I dude. know that in practice, the smell alone would be so funky. That oh, you're my like, God. I don't want anything Yo, to Yo, in the beginning of my career. Here we go. Here okay. we go. Here it is. Close it out. Close this out with this story. Sure. I'll tell you what. You can look it up right now. Um, what? You can look it up right now on 24 Hours of Cisco. Okay. It was the very last scene. In the beginning of the video, you see me like get, like crawl out of the bed with two girls and then... In the end of the video, you see me <laughs> go go in the bed with two. Girls. It was it was crazy. I want, yeah. See, the thing is, we the can't, two girls thing. I mean, can't. that's a that's a uh, that's a lot of confidence there, my friend. I it is. I don't have that confidence. I don't have. I barely have enough confidence. I to, to, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I've got enough for everyone. I was, yeah. I God bless was, you for it because I barely have enough confidence to coerce my wife and having sex with me once a week, let alone two women yeah. who I've never met before. Oh, believe me. Of course, me, I know. maybe not the right word to use. Oh, believe me, I know. When you get to it, when you get to, hey, man, when those, when you got two toddlers in the house, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, making time's hard. Making time is, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an, an art form. Yep, it's a, like a double Dutch. <laughs> so here's, uh, it's a, this isn't at all related to the P phone topic, but again, we're wrapping up. We have Cisco here. How do you think about yourself now? Because you talk about, you know, okay, the first record deal, I'm not going anywhere. You told everybody to fuck off in high school. That was mm -hmm. a humbling experience, mm -hmm. right? And then, of course, you become Cisco. You mm -hmm. have a TV show, clothing line. You're killing it. Your music's mm -hmm. doing all these different things. And then, you know, I remember when I, one of the most encouraging letters we got when we broke away to do Kind of Funny was mm -hmm. from you, mm -hmm. where you're like, you, you don't know it, but you're, your storyline's a lot like mine. And mm -hmm. the fact that I just left a giant, you know, corporate or a giant label that was doing, is doing all these amazing acts, but I want to do my own way and do this different right. stuff. And it was very, very scary. Yeah. It was very scary. Where do you, how do you think about yourself now? Do you still have that, like, the Dude. confidence and you're this yes. crazy young, okay. Man, I, I freaking love it. I mean, you guys know the freedom of, it's almost like one of those things when you believe in yourself um, and then um, you have that confidence and you, you just kind of have that foresight in what you're doing and you know that you have something. You're like, I know it's something here and I'm not going to give up on it. Mm -hmm. It resonates. And you see, man, it resonates. You know, I'm here. Different people um, from the industry come. Uh, the the uh, kind of funny fan base c continues to grow. It's because that love that you have, it, it goes out. And it's it's not stifled. It doesn't have a ceiling on it anymore, in my personal opinion. And it was like, it was just because a lot of the things that I wanted to do, like, for instance, me dyeing my hair blonde was something the label didn't want me to do. Like, I, I was, uh, they asked me to, because um, my hair was a, uh, I had like a curly fro um, in the beginning. It was blonde. And they wanted my natural hair color, which is like almost jet black, like my eyebrows. And um, so I cut all of my hair off. And that's how I had the Caesar cut. And then on the set of our video for Thong Song, I went in the bathroom and dyed my hair back blonde. And I came back out and they was like, what the hell are you doing? You're going to ruin your career. La, la, la. Like, it's and the Michael Jackson plan, man. Dude, I got to do it. It ended up being the, the one thing that set us apart from like the one twelves and the jagged edges, it set us apart. Um, we were the we were the group with the guy with with the black guy with the blonde hair, mm -hmm. and now everybody's dying their hair blonde. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, I was like, uh, you know, somebody asked me, did I go um, see President Trump the other day? I said, no, that was Kanye. It was like, <laughs> 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 so it was, so man. At the end of the day, um, it's it was. Being able to have those wild dreams of something that you'll want to do. Like, I know when you guys first said that you wanted to do the uh, kind of funny um, show, um, the, the kind of funny live show, mm -hmm. you didn't know, you know what you were going to do, but you did it. 
And, you know, I heard you guys talk about when you showed up. It was like you were surprised that so many people showed up. Yeah. And then the next year, it was even bigger. And then this year, it's going to be even bigger. It's like, I think the moral of the story is, man, just never let go of that dream. Um, you know, just, uh, just you know, uh, realize that you guys are stars. You know, when you say, you know, two of the coolest guys in, in video games and just, you know, once you realize that you're stars, like I said, once you once that star leaves the Earth's atmosphere and goes above the world and it's no air up there, but this is where you're supposed to be. Mm. So you don't need air and you realize you don't need air. I don't need I don't I didn't I, I proved that I didn't need Def Jam for our brand sustain. We perform at sold out shows every weekend. Like I did five shows back to back down in Oakland down at Yoshi's, um, we did uh, two shows a night. We did two shows on Friday, sold out both of them, two shows on Saturday, and then one show on Sunday. And each year we come back, we get like another show at it. Like the first time it was just uh, two shows back to back. And then the next time it was like uh, three shows and then it was four shows. Now it's five shows. And next year it's like, yo, this venue might be too small. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so, awesome. uh, so yeah, man, to answer your question, it was, it was very scary because you only know what you what they show you like people don't know them that i'm performing every weekend and mm -hmm. instead of instead of taking it like <clears throat> i don't take it negatively i use it to my advantage cuz i'm like oh for real oh you should come to our show or you should have me come perform and then when they see me perform it's like oh fuck i forgot how dope he was so i like use it to my advantage yeah. i yeah, make man. lemonade out of lemons you know hell That's yeah awesome. Cisco, you're the fucking best you really are the fucking best <laughs> If you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Game Over Greggy show each and every week. Four, sometimes five, best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic discussion for your amusement. If you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny, where you can toss us a few bucks and get every episode early, along with a bunch of exclusives, perks, and goodies. But if you have no bucks to toss our way, no big deal. Head over to youtube.com slash kindoffunny, where we post the show topic by topic, day by day, until it goes up as one big video in MP3 the following Friday. Cisco. Yeah. Where do people keep up with you? If they want to know where you're touring, where they want you know, to come buy some albums? Uh, if you want to get uh, any of my new music, you can get it right now on iTunes or Google Play. The album's called Last Dragon, um, which is another thing I didn't get to do. I wanted to play one of my songs on, on that other show y'all got, but whatever. Oh, and P.S. I, I love you? Yeah, well, maybe we're not taking it away. Who knows? Maybe we'll know by the time this posts. We'll see. We'll see. Um, and also, you can uh, get me on social media on my Instagram. It's just Cisco, S-I-S-Q-O. Um, or official Cisco, but basically, whichever if you look up Cisco S I S Q O, whichever picture is not from the '90s, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe here, go to Patreon there, check out Kind of Funny Games over there, or see a playlist of some stuff Kevin's assembling over there. Kevin's weird.